Hotep, Shalom, Namaste, Cole, Asher, Hava. Today I want to talk to you about the metaphysics of reality. The metaphysics of meta. What does it mean to have meta? What does it mean to be meta? What does metaphysics mean? Okay, now listen to this. Meta is beyond what you can perceive. You see trucks, you see solid liquids, gas, you can see plasma, you can feel these things, taste these things, you can perceive these things. Metaphysics is something beyond the physical. Everything around you is something that there is something that is always meta. There are four types of reality. Dreams, memories, reality itself, and surrealism. Metaphysics is the uh, quintessence of this. Everything exists with metaphysics. Everything has a metaphysical property. The metaphysics of the number one represents singularity, wholeness, unity. The negative aspect of this would represent loneliness and alone and abandonment. Okay? Uh, the metaphysics of the color red would mean life, the life giver, uh, blood. The negative aspect of this represents uh, warning, stop, death. Okay? That is metaphysics, something beyond what you can perceive. So no matter where you go, no matter what you do, even the words that I'm speaking have metaphysics property to them. The fact that I know this, it makes my word even stronger. The fact that I've even pronounced this and proclaimed this into the ether, it makes my words even stronger. That's why you must be careful what you believe. You must be careful with what, how you speak and what you say. You must be careful with what you do, because you are judged on a physical and metaphysical reality. When you are out here and you do something wrong to a... In the Bible it says, do not hurt the widow and the childless. Do not hurt the orphan. Do not hurt the widow. And we all know what happens if you go against Yeh, Yeh, Asher, Yeh. You don't play that, correct? Now listen to this. You are being judged everything you do. When you steal something from somebody, you're being judged. When you see someone doing doing wrong and you don't say anything and you just sit there and say it's none of your business and you have the power to stop that, you're being judged for that. You have been given dominion over this world. You have been given dominion over this world. If you, uh, uh, um, Hindu, Buddhist, uh, uh, Taoist, uh, if you, even if you, with the ancient Greeks are uh, animism, you have been given dominion over this world. This is your world. When you see something wrong with this world, you should have the ability or the willingness to want to fix it. You should have the desire to want to change this world. Why would you accept to live in a world with such wickedness where you have to work nine to five? Why would you accept to, uh, to live in a world where you have to uh, uh, break your back for a piece of bread? Why would you accept to live in a world with rape, confusion, and death, and destruction? Why would you accept to live in a world like this? You have been given dominion over this world. Everything you do is having an effect on this world. Everything you are thinking right now is having an effect on your future. What you are doing right now is affecting your future, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not. Whether you see it or not, you are creating your future right now as we speak. Now listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, devas and devis and kings and queens, princes and princesses. Listen to me speak. He who has an ear, let him hear. You cannot... I repeat, you cannot claim to be a brave warrior, a brave man, and step in, and you're afraid to step into the darkness. You're afraid to step into the realm of the, of, of the warriors and the realm of the wicked. You have to step into this realm and you have to change this world. Most of you are on this earth for the simple fact that you got to change this world. Don't be afraid that you ain't going to have nothing to eat. Don't be a coward. You are supposed to change this world. Even at this moment, I look at myself, I'm talking to in the mirror. I'm, I'm talking to myself in the mirror. I'm talking to myself as well. But I'm not talking to my health. I'm talking for you all. I'm talking to all of you. Many of you have been lost. And I'm going to do a lot of physics, uh, videos on the metaphysics, and it's going to really uh, bring out the God within you. John 10.34, I believe it's, it's uh, John 10.34 says, Ye are gods. I said ye are gods. The Christ Messiah tells us that. In the body God Gita, chapter 15, Krishna says, I dwell in the hearts of all men. Okay, listen to me speak. You, within your vessel, within that flesh, bones, blood, and within that fragile, beautiful human creation, lies a spirit so powerful. You create your afterlife. You create the world around you. You are creating your world as we speak. 
Your spirit is more powerful than you could even perceive. Brothers and sisters, you are creating your world. And I cannot stress enough how serious this is. You have no idea the things we could accomplish if we come together as brother and sister. It don't matter if you black, white, pink, purple, and orange, male or female, Christian, Muslim, or Hindu. We are to come together. Everybody, I just want to say peace, stay blessed, and follow truth, righteousness, and justice always and all days. Peace, everybody, and stay blessed.